Um, do you guys like impressions? Yeah? All right. This is an impression that got me second place on America's Funniest People many years ago. This is uh, my impression of the last guy on a potato chip assembly line, okay? So this is the guy's job at the final position of the conveyor belt, all right? Any potato chip factory in the world. Here we go. That's the conveyor belt, okay? Just <laughs> setting expectations. You guys are sweet. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start out with an impression. You guys like impressions? Yeah. All right, this, this will be fun. I don't normally do impressions, but I've been working on one, so I'll do that one. All right, here's the thing though. You gotta figure out if you can, see if you can figure out who this is, okay? I'm gonna do it, and you gotta wait till the end before you guess, all right? Here we go. Give me one second. Hey, who's up for the round ball? Anyone for the round ball? Hey. Thank you. <laughs> I guess I'll just tell you who that was. Uh, that was Jake Hawkins. Oh. <laughs> he's, a, he's a kid I went to high school with. So. <laughs> thank you, oh thank you. Thank you. You guys, ah, oh, what a supportive crowd. <laughs> I like it how your response was like, ah. <laughs> like half support, half sadness. <laughs> well, it was good, whoever that was. And my special gift is I get new personality to anybody <laughs> with cerebral palsy. <laughs> Go ahead, yell someone out. Obama. Obama. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. It's, uh, <laughs> Can we do someone that's... Katie Perry. Perry. All right, I heard John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> All of those were very complicated. <laughs> All right, there we go. John Wayne was through Paul. <laughs> How did Pilgrim? <laughs> please, please don't clap for that. That's really stupid. Do you guys like impressions? Yeah. yeah, me too. Should have prepared some since you guys like them so much. I'm kidding, of course. That's kind of what I'm famous for, my impressions. That's kind of what I'm known for. Uh, you've probably heard of some of the famous impressionists throughout, uh, throughout history. There was uh, Rich Little was a big impressionist. Uh, Monet was a big impressionist. <laughs> there, there, there's a French painter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Monet. Frank Caliendo is the big guy now. Frank Caliendo. I don't know if you know him. Frank Caliendo. They offered me a big sitcom like him. I was like, screw that. I'm going to Utah. And, uh, <laughs> so I have a delicatessen to perform in front of, right? But, <laughs> So I don't like to brag, I'm much better than any other impressionist you've ever seen in your life. And I'm not bragging. The reason I am, I started much younger than most people. You do something a long time, you get really good at it. I started when I was six years old doing impressions, and so it's been a long time. And uh, most impressionists, what they do is they come out, they have five or six people that are really good at doing, and they do those for you, and that's it. Uh, I'm so much better, I can do anyone, drop of the hat without prep, who would you like to see tonight? Yell out any celebrity you would like to see, who would you like tonight? Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey is the first one here. We'll get to all of them. So good. Here we go. Here we go. First one, Jim Carrey. <clears throat> oh, I should tell you, I've always kept that style from when I first started. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Six-year-old impressions. Six-year-old impressions? I'm Jim Carrey. Yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah, Jim Carrey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who else? Who else would you like to say? I was supposed to be the Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I could do these all night. We got time for one last one. Kermit the Frog. 
Kermit the Frog, right here? Is it, is it, I'm going to dedicate it to you. What's your first name, sir? Riley. Riley. Here you go, Riley. Riley, I'm so good at this. I'm not even going to do Kermit the Frog. In just that little conversation, I've already learned to do you. So that's how good I am at this. Here we go. This is Riley and Provo, Utah. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, Kermit the Frog. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very lucky to have me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys said good, said great sense of humor. There's still two people like those were awful. <laughs> those were not good. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I have a special little uh, surprise for you. I, I like to do impressions. And <laughs> yay! That was my impression of a happy person. <laughs> a happy person with low energy. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Your team won, yay. And I know I don't look, I played up high school basketball. That's the only impression I do on my show, 16. Me on the high school basketball team. This is me, 1991, high school basketball team, me. High school basketball team, ready, go. <laughs> Every once in a while you hear, Spainberg, yeah, coach, you get in the game, all right, get it. Yeah, it's a ball game. <laughs> I'm going to do an impression for you guys. I, I can't do characters or other people, you know. I got a high-pitched, squeaky voice. I know that. I still get called ma'am on the phone. <laughs> I called my friend up. My friend's named Jeff. Jeff happens to be black. His daughter answered the phone. I said, can I speak to Jeff? She said, hold on, Grandma. <laughs> so either I sound like a little old black lady... Jeff's mom sounds like a little Mexican comedian. <laughs> but I'm working on a new impression. I'm going to debut it for this special right here. I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. <clears throat> this is my impression of a Latino proposal. <clears throat> are you going to keep it? <laughs> Thank you. You guys were, some of you were laughing, some of you were doing signs of the cross, you guys like. All right, same joke with a different twist. This is my impression of a black proposal. <clears throat> In the case of 18-month-old Jamil, you are the father. Ah! I told you, I told you. You can spell it both ways. <laughs> All right, one more impression for you guys. This one almost got me beat up. This is not about the friendly, kind, compassionate, loving, God-fearing people of Provo, Utah. I was two hours north of Sacramento, California at a Native American casino. One night a month they do comedy there. 700 cowboys, no Indians. <laughs> I did the Latino proposal, they laughed. I did the black proposal, they laughed. So I thought these were some really cool good old boys. And I did this impression. Once again, this is not about the friendly people that are here tonight. <laughs> this is my impression of a redneck proposal. <clears throat> Don't tell Ma. 
<laughs> 700 people, nobody laughed. The dude sitting right next to the stage jumps up and goes, that ain't funny. <laughs> and he wants to fight me. I was like, bro, sit down, man. He's about my age. I said, man, we'll have a heart attack before we land a punch. Just sit down. <laughs> But he keeps going and security came and they grabbed him and they're taking him out of the theater and he goes, I'll see you after the show. He just threatened me. But I still have to be funny. So I said the first thing that came to my mind, I was like, well, how are you going to catch me? I'm in a Mercedes, you have a trailer. <laughs> That's what security was like, that's enough, Paco. <laughs> How'd I turn into Paco all of a sudden? <laughs> I actually, uh, this is a fun crowd for it. I, I actually, I do impressions. You guys like impressions? You like that sort of thing? Oh, yeah. my, my, my impressions are a little bit different because uh, here at the Heath Show, I use a leaf blower to do these. And um, uh, this is very serious. Please do not try this at home. 220 miles an hour, the wind that comes out of here. So these are some impressions with a leaf blower. You guys, uh, be a lot of fun. Here we go. Number one, your dog out the car window. That one really hurts. <laughs> oh, wait. Whale watching! That's a, that's a good one! That's a good one! That's a good one. Okay. My favorite one. Here we go. A South Carolina news reporter in a hurricane. My leaf blower just died. Uh, 